The news is not always what happens. Though. Sometimes, just sometimes, the news is actually what does not happen. And so, for example, this whole week, mm, this whole week, there was not a single scandal. Yes, not a single scandal from any of the 100 and... Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think it's newsworthy. And sincerely, I am happy for the Honorable Information Minister. I mean, the fine gentleman who has had the arduous task of, you know, spearheading all the defense mechanism machinery in what has become known as uh, one week, one scandal championship. You know, this week has been really... And at a point, many were really worried for him. And Janini, I was too, because you can imagine, it's not like when people plot their scandals, they will even consult him or ABIA, let him sit up. That, that, that is, if you want to pour. And so, yes, on behalf of the information minister and his team, we'd like to thank all the many ministers and appointees of the dear president of the Ghanaian people for giving us an off day, actually a whole week off. But our jubilation was cut short because Sir Isao, Sir Isao, they dared to touch our appointed, anointed appointees. And our holy sacrificial lamb, free HSS, we will deal with them. You wait, watch, and see. Welcome, everyone. This is Backpage on City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. So, Ghana's economic whiz kid and his team of messiahs have excelled in telling us how they've turned the economy around. In fact, uh, macroeconomic indicators, so it's the NDC, so yes, that one has been hailed across the globe. But for some reasons best known to the unknown, many Ghanaians say that, um, you know, it's yay. Oh, 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 guess what? A gentleman at Legon called Isa has confirmed this in, a, in, in an intriguing diagnosis and also recommended treatment. But first, his diagnosis. About some of the government flagship programs, given that we don't have the resources, we are missing all the revenue targets, we want to go beyond eight, and we are not able to raise enough tax revenue in this country. We need to rediscuss free SHS again. We need to discuss uh, the issue of uh, NAPCO, whether that is a sustainable way of creating jobs and all the people we put there and we are paying. Well, Fira, Isa, what a touch not my anointed, but Isa is touching free HHS and even adding a cousin. That's NAPCO. But you see, Isa kind of opened a can, a, a can of worms because it touched on what many Ghanaians have been thinking about and saying, including suggestions that the government needs some body sculpting. We need to discuss some of the ministries that we have set up to see whether they still need to exist. What is the Ministry for Inner City and Zongo Development? Is it really relevant? What are they doing? We need to have a discussion about the Ministry of uh, e Evaluation. Ministry of Evaluation. Uh, what are they evaluating? We need to have a discussion about the Ministry for Regional Reorganization and all the amount of money we are spending there. We need to discuss about the Ministry of development. What are they developing? Can the can Ministry of Trade do the work that they are doing? We need to have a discussion about the Ministry of Transport, Railways and Aviation. Do we need to have three different ministries or can one ministry do aviation, transport and railways? And we need to talk about the Ministry of Special Development Initiatives and all the three uh, development authorities that have been put there. So no, we need to talk, we need to have a discussion about controlling expenditure and gaining efficiency in our expenditure. Wow, Isa Wakasa. So, Minister of Planning, what are they planning? Actually, where is um, the former minister for Zongo? And he, I'm told he's now personal assistant to the vice president. Is that true? What about the former tourism and arts? Huh? She's not a PA of the senior minister. Obviously, the issues are real, my friends. And sincerely, government is struggling to raise enough revenue to fix our roads and run the, run the country in a way that they now will be proud of. Meanwhile, 
some of these initiatives keep, you know, milking the little we are making minus the lots that get diverted and or stolen. But when Isa says, look, review the thing, review the thing, the response to Isa is saga. <laughs> The government's view at this point in time is that the free SHS program is a heritage of the Ghanaian child. It is not something that is being given necessarily to the poor parent today. It has nothing to do with the financial status of your parent. It is a heritage of the Ghanaian child as it stands now. If the government has a view to review that particular position, it will do it as time goes along. But as we speak now, the free senior high school program is a heritage of the Ghanaian child, that every Ghanaian child, once you are a Ghanaian child, the state has a responsibility to ensure that you benefit from basic education, which has now been redefined to include senior high school education. So that is the man who holds the minister's press conference a lot. And, and to be fair to him, he has redefined government communications to some extent. I mean, when are every week scandal anchor, <laughs> won't you address the press every weekend? Boss, just that these days, members say because of your role in the defense side of the pitch, you know, because it's solid, you know, they have conferred on you the honorary Defender General title, Defender General. Yeah, man. So, um, congratulations. Uh, keep doing what you're doing and don't watch nobody. But, you know, people say the state of their economies after the collapse of the banks and the layoff that came with it, the harsh reality of telcos tearing your small credit and data and rubbing it in your face, you know. People say that one does not reflect the white picture the finance minister has sought to portray of the economy through his shadows. But, um, somebody wanted me to ask you what determines your color, your choice of color. Is it your mood? Is it where the economy is? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, it, it, I guess it's been white most of the time. And this is from uh, Ecclesiastes 9, okay. 8 to 9, which says... You know, enjoy life, anoint your head, okay. wear white, and love your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and you do all. And I think it's really just to mm. to, 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 to realize the um, favor that God has given you and to be grateful mm. at all times to celebrate it. Yo, Anambo, nice one there. Except that some people say the enjoyment part, no? the current state of their roots deprives them of that enjoyment. So please, release more money so that Terminator 1 can repackage it and reaward it after perhaps he's terminated it, you understand? Because the indiscipline is too much in this country. Talking about Terminator 1, he's not too happy at the state of the Bree Mountain and the highway there. Actually, me too. In fact, we three. So I was wondering, the buildings on top of the mountain now, they are mostly owned by some of the appointees, former appointees, and their friends and families, no? Will he terminate it, repackage it, and de-award it? This electric pole can even fall any moment from now because, you no, know, they want to construct a wall. It means that there's no collaboration between the developer and even electricity company of Ghana. People are just hiding here to do what they want. Hmm? And in our country, we don't punish. We are afraid to punish. We are afraid to take decisions. Hmm? For whatever reason. Eh? Left to me, we bring bulldozers, and no matter the, the, the extent of construction, we bring everything down. Because to protect the road and to protect the people of this country is more important than whoever is, you know, building uh, 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 these houses. But do the thing, sir, Terminator one, yeah, man. Me two, Terminator one, say no. Me two, what say no? I mean, the man, F is blue. No, you do everything. Actually, he showed up at the scene with an entourage of colleagues and other public officials after the second rockfall in a week. If you like, let's bet. Most of the people you just saw there 
have traveled widely across this globe than you and I. You and I may have only seen pictures of how in other countries beautiful mountain tops like Ebri are kept. They have actually experienced it all than we have. And chances are that most of those who have built there on the Ebri mountain are... Th- you, you, you get me? Yeah. And, and some of them even did that using national security to protect their developments while they were breaking the law. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And guess what? The word unprecedented, unprecedented, and however you want it, became timely this week when the Tema motorway got frighted. <laughs> This is serious. The Mubola. This is Ghana's motorway. Just a little minute of downfall. Look at what is happening to our motorway. Wow. 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 Wow, now, Becca. What will look? What will look? The plastics that took the drains, no? Is it not our fault? And those of you who keep using the illegal U turn, no? You think you are not responsible for this one, so man? You see, when you are driving on the motorway, it's about 18 kilometers. You have the median, which has an existing drain. It's okay. supposed to collect all the surface runoff and then empty them at sections where we have the catch pit. Okay. And the catch pits have the culvert underneath them. And they're supposed to distribute the water at both sides of the, either the exit or the, en- the, the entry. So it goes out to the outlet. Now, all the U-turns on the road have blocked the drain. So you are now having sectional floods. Multiply by the distance. Ha, <sighs> EYA. Also, the local government people along the Temamoto Way, no, you sold buffer zone lands, I mean, lands in the buffer zone along the motorway to factories, no? You think the day the motorway will flood strong enough to cause havoc, no? You, you, will, you will know, eh? If a vehicle is driving in, in a flat, it's dangerous. So, ordinarily, you have to leave the roads above the existing ground. Mm-hmm. Now, 50 years back, that was done. And then, Tema, this is the municipal uh, assembly, whatever. And I'm selling all the, the land on the adjoining yes. lands. All the land has had uh, rice farms wow. because it was high matrix clay. And all those areas have been sold to the industries. This flood will not stop. Wow. It's not going to stop. It's sad, though. But the rains I'm, were really strong. So strong to the extent that UCC, University of Cape Coast, allegedly trended for the first time on Twitter since history started, thanks to the rain. I mean, the Friday. The place is frightened. Wow, you see, we understand that um, the students were really sad, yeah? And not because the rains had affected their fridges and other electronic gadgets, but because the quizzes they studied for had to be cancelled. Oh, you see, students are so studious. I mean, when a quiz is cancelled, they get upset. You see, when you live in a state of Universal constant confusion. You can't afford to miss quizzes. You get more confused. It is well, you see, it is well, as well. It's well because while we complain of flooding in Ghana, it appears the flooding in Cote d'Ivoire proved to be more competent than ours. See some. Yeah, I'm not Talent, 
Now, this one is ivory fried, ivory fried. I tell you, let's move on, okay? Now, since we are in Cape Coast, oh, we went to Ivory Coast, right? Okay, so let's return to Cape Coast, where Wonder Boy Elvis is living a life larger than life itself. Elvis, I mean, your dance is great, okay? And keep on living, man. Keep on living. Good news is City TV discovered a new wonder boy. Now, this time at the University of Ghana, Lagon. Well, I said in Latin, and I quote, Mutum sperandum, qui mutum datum est. Meaning, much more is expected to whom much is given. Being accepted today into a family with such luminaries, including the current president, Sasalensi Nane Kufuadu, and the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Aaron Michael Kwe, should make us, fellow matriculants, proud indeed. Oh, wow. That's a 12 year old who got admitted to the University of Ghana Legon. He's the first to ever, ever do such a thing. This is wonderful. Um, Spuntus Prumdatus, what a Latin. Uh -huh. But just because he was homeschooled, no? People are suddenly saying, hey, they will homeschool their children so they don't experience the double tracking of the free SHS. I mean, say, meanwhile, no? they say, hey, people, simple mixed fraction, Kekempo, you couldn't mix. If you think homeschooling is a joke, try it and see. You don't know why it's going on. Yeah, congratulations to the father too. You did great. But anyway, let's talk about MPs now. Uh huh. Wait, before then, you remember U.S. Congressional Speaker Nancy Pelosi was in Ghana not too long ago? Yeah, good. I was watching the funeral service of Representative Elijah Cummings. You know, he became the first African American elected. Yeah. First African-American elected official to lie in state in the United States Capitol. But here is what I want to show you. you know, I discovered that Nancy Pelosi sold Ghana to the world in her address without even saying a word about Ghana. She was clearly marketing our beats from her visit. Check these out. Yeah. I mean, this one, uh, you can tell... she. It, it, the, the beat she's wearing on her wrist is the Adam B song. She didn't even cut the Ahumano away. That's all I want to show you on, on this particular one. I saw it. I thought I should share it with you. We saw it. We liked it. We loved it. So we want to show it to you. Let's be proud of what we got here. Right? Now to our own parliament. Nothing related to Nancy, though, except that Ras Mubara Kumbungu MP, uh, outgoing MP for Mungu, Kumbungu, who believes he lost the elections because of his insistence not to buy votes, made a statement about vote buying. Then his colleague Abu Jinapur came to say, hmm, it's MP. Last week I was in my village 
And this might sound funny, but it goes to the core. At that village, Mr. Speaker, I went to commission an electrification project. When I got there, the youth were very, very unhappy with me. The reason being that in the adjacent constituency, a colleague of mine had done very well, and I commend him, by getting them a sound system. And the next village we suggested, their complaint was that in the night, when the other village engages in playing record dance, all the women from my village, they moved to that village. <laughs> it sounds funny. I tried to explain to them that, look, I've come to commission electrification for you. We had constructed the road for you, and they told me that the road had even exacerbated the situation. <laughs> because the asphalt of the road had made it feasible for the ladies to ride their bicycles to the next village and back. Oh my God, I thought MPs are suffering, Papa. I think <laughs> we give you those, you say it is leading your women somewhere. We give you like, you want sound system. Oh, MPs don't suffer. But how is it that the MP commissions rural electrification program and roads when they are done, but say we are not responsible for getting you these when residents demonstrate? I don't know. I'm just asking why I ask. I mean... While I ask, the people of Butri are wondering where their MP and DCE, the both of them, where they are, because as a seven-year-old lost his life crossing a bridge that our Kwasi Ejenim Takwaje describes as wicked. What exactly uh, do you have here as a problem when it comes to uh, this very bridge? Oh, since... Uh, some three months ago, the bridge was collapsed and then it, it, it is set a death trap against some communities around here, known as Asamoko, Asamasa, Amuna Beach, Untumano, Buzia, and then Disco. They all use that bridge and then those they do business and then the students and then beach destination and then tourism. So if the bridge was collapsed, even its wallet so much in here. With the weakened state of this all-important bridge here in Butre, any further delay by the local authorities to actually find a solution in fixing this death trap bridge will mean a possible loss of another life in the shortest possible time. Wicked bridge indeed. I'm not sure if the wicked state of the bridge is an attribute or a reflection of the authorities responsible. So Charlie, do out for my butri people, okay? Please, we beg. Wah. Now, if all you hear your children say these days is who the man, 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 and you have no idea what is going on, what are all this about here? Yeah? Hold on, I mean, I will tell you all about it in a while, as well as the official Christmas party D2R. Welcome back, everyone. If anyone asks you who the man is, what will you say? Well, hear the man. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody go uh -huh. down. Who the man challenge? Donna, are you ready? Going live. Let's go. Check it out. Check Listen. It. Late night rhymes in my mind is gonna be crazy. Can't talk hard and my eyes are hazy. And my brain not working up, doing push ups. Push -ups on the hard beat, you can never really phase me. Beat four for I made up. I'm going back to my rap up, made up. And you be thinking I've been making it, that say it up. That way, the people taking it is staying up. To watch a boss and a true killer. Dropping hard gems on the beat, too real. I check Nike, the Air Force, true filler. Checking out with the boys and the true pillars. Red Devils on the rampage, I don't think so. Tell I said, make it no drink blow. Cause I never ever go forgive, man. Everywhere we go with the shine, I don't think glow. Charlie, where the question at? Yeah, man. Who the man? Nathan the Obodai Kwao is the man. I'm sure many will look forward to seeing him on the bill of uh, the official Christmas party, D2R. 
And also, we are all looking forward to seeing prayer sweep us over our feet when they are nostalgic songs. My goodness. <laughs> Like, 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 you don't want to miss prayer for anything, right? I am definitely going to be there. Uh, the year has been a mixed bag for many, a mixed bag of issues for many people, great, bad, positive, and all of that. But even if things fell apart for you, Kofi Kinata's things fall apart as well as performances from many other acts, many other acts will do the magic for you. Things fall apart. That's a first now a church on no mama nyame on the third now I just no hope a trek. <laughs> Part time Christian, you won't fight full time devil. <laughs> you the joke until you nyame so me pa na yelu sumia. Nyame so me pa na yelu sumia. Si nyame so me pa na yelu sumia. Great music, the part time Christian part was. Is what kills me. It kills me. I can't wait for D2R this year. I mean, what happens to most of us is that um, around this time we have a we make a lot of friends. Ostensibly, people want tickets after D2R or no, comatose, which is okay. I mean, what are friends for? In my case, though, I've made a great number of friends who are arrested during the war against the discipline, and they want to come to D2R so that they can dance in the national interest. Excuse me, if you want to come, you and I, we have to do savings. So every week you send me Momo 50 Ghana, we do the savings, you know. If we don't buy VIP ticket for the tour, my brother, wait till again. My name is Caleb Kudas. This is Backpage. Thank you for watching. Keep watching City TV.